To render your project as 720p in After Effects, you want to first of all, make sure that you have the media encoder downloaded. So if you open up your Creative Cloud, go into All Apps, make sure that the media encoder is downloaded. Once you've installed it and it's up to date, you can then minimize this. You want to go up to File, down to Export and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Once this window pops up, you want to make sure that your comp is loaded, so it should automatically load up your project. However, sometimes it may not do this, and if yours is empty, let's say, and you've got yourself an empty area, all you've got to do to load up your project is to go to the plus icon, locate where your folder is or your project, go ahead and click on open, wait for this to load, Select yourself the composition that you've been working on. So mine is called Comp1. Click on OK, and there we go. We now have the composition open. The next thing to do is we need to customize the settings. So you want to left click on here where it says Match Source. Starting off with the first thing is the format. You want to make sure it's on H.264. We're going to click on Comp1, and this is where you save it to a certain location. So I'm going to save it in videos. I'm going to be very generic and call this video. Go ahead and click on Save. You then want to make sure you have your video ticked and your audio as well, if you have any audio. But the ones that we want to focus on are going to be video, audio and multiplexer. Starting off with the video, in here we want to untick this to customize it and we want to set it to 1280 and then left click off of this times 720. Scroll in underneath this, we have the frame rate. So if you untick this, you can either set it to 30 or 60 FPS, depending on your preference. Underneath this, you will have the field order, the aspect, you can leave these on default and scroll further down to the encoding settings. In here, we can go to performance and set this one to hardware encoding. You want to untick this one and set this one to high for the profile. Leave it on default for the levels, the color space, HDR, and you want to scroll all the way down to the bitrate settings. So the bitrate is what determines the quality of your video and you want to left click on here and set it to VBR two pass. For 720p, 60 FPS, YouTube recommends that you set it to 10 for the target bitrate and 12 for the maximum bitrate. Scrolling further down, we have some optional settings which we don't really need to customize. So we're going to hop on over to the audio, make sure it's set to AC, set to 48,000 Hertz, keep it on stereo for the channels and set the bit rate to 384. Hop on over to the multiplexer and make sure it's set to MP4 and it's a standard compatibility. If you wanted to, you can save this as a preset by clicking on this button right here. Give this any name you want. So we're just gonna call this YouTube 720p. You want to take this one and take this one as well and go ahead and click on OK. You then want to go ahead and click on OK. And once you're ready to render your video, you can also go into the renderer and if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, I would highly recommend to use the CPU acceleration CUDA. This makes rendering so much quicker. Select yourself the video and go ahead and click on the enter button right here. This will then analyze your video and start rendering it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you render a 720p 30 or 60 FPS video in After Effects.